What's up? What's up, YouTube? What's up? Hey, what's up? It's Friday. I ain't there really in a minute, man. I've been working pretty hard, dude. Right now, uh, I'm on this dedicated account, and uh, the money just coming in like crazy, yo. I just fucking can't believe it, man, how, how, how it's doing right now. Uh, I just want to show you the low board. I haven't been on the low board because I just... The agent just be giving me the lows or whatever that they they got available, and uh, the shit been good, man. It been real good loads, and uh, guess I'm a little happy with that, man. I ain't gotta look at the load board, and I hope you got the lows sent to my email, and much easier, you know, having a uh, agent already saying you up, already you know knowing where you'd like to go, and. Uh, they were doing real good, but uh, I wanted to show you what, what how's the low board looking there on a Friday. It says 44,000 loads available, which is not bad on a Friday. Uh, I just, uh, you know, I just picked Rochester or whatever, 100 miles radius. These are the loads coming out of upstate New York. Scroll down kind of slow, but not that bad. Rates is not that bad. And that's crazy. They usually don't come out that high coming out of there, but it's coming look it's coming out of there pretty good though. Look at this shit. Niagara Falls to Rochester, New York. Two thousand dollars, dude. Sirs, look at a freaking rate per mile. Wow. Pick up deliver the same day, yo. Same day, yo. So that's two thousand dollars. It's the service is zero dollars, but that's gonna change because they gotta put fuel in it, and uh, you you probably add some toes to it. But man, you looking like at least fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars off of that one day, dude. Like I try to average seven to eight hundred bucks a day to the truck at the fuel and toes like that. But right there is is a real good load that if I was in the area, I would do, especially deliver the same day and look at the weight. 3,900 pounds. Yes, it's hazmat. But it's all good. Rochester, PA. Then from there, I guess I just look for a load. And either if I want to go back to New York or I want to go back somewhere else. Let me see something. Well... Although I could they hit 62 miles to Ohio and they go to Allentown paying $1,900. That's a good rate. Or I could go to Brooklyn. Brooklyn is not that bad. I ain't afraid of it. Uh, won't go down south right now. With the shit that's going on down there, man. Kind of messed up. Uh, let me see. South Carolina. Yeah, it's probably a lot of shit going down south right now. Uh, Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Ohio, let me see. Ooh. Damn, look at these freaking lows. Jesus. You see that shit right there in the bottom? Woo! Look at all these stops, though, yo. Holy shit. New Mexico, Texas, Kansas City. $8,800. Uh, that's all right. Look at all the stops, though. Holy shit. Fuck that. You're making $681 a day for 13 days. Uh, yeah, fuck that. I'm going to get more doing other shit. Let me go back. Rochester, so New York, 100 miles radius. I got, you know, East Coast, so let me search it again real quick. Uh, Delaware, okay. Red and PA in Salisbury, Maryland. That's not that bad. Two-day trip. Make some money on that. No touch, three drops to treasure supplies. Delivery. Eight to uh, eight to, uh, to seventeen hundred hours. Flatbed will require to tarp, but this is not a flatbed low. But 
It's flatbed or van, they say right here, you see? 43 foot, 48 foot flatbed or 53 feet van. So either or can do this load. Uh, just, just to let you know, these miles right here are, is the miles to uh, the location. So if you're in Rochester, New York, it's 63, 63 miles to go to, to uh, West uh, Seneca, New York or whatever. And then over here to the right is 373 miles to the destination. These are the rate per miles. The way you figure out how much you're getting is $2,515 times 0 0.65. Cause you're, you know, you're using their trailers. And then that will be your, uh, your line hop. That, that, that would be your, your pay to the truck or whatever you're gonna get. So that's how you kind of figure out the rates. And then you, you divide the, uh, you know, the rate, uh, you know, the final uh, number with the uh, total miles. And it will give you the uh, rate per mile. Because after they take their cut, this rate per mile is going to drop down maybe to like $4 a mile. Which is not bad because you got to at least try to get, you know, a little bit over 2 bucks a mile. You know, that's what my goal be. But, uh. This is a New York beat, man. Uh, it's sometimes it's good. This freight coming out of there sometimes, man. This is weird. I've never seen like this high before. This is uh, let me check this first one up here. Info US team. Yeah, I mean, fuck. That's not bad. That's a good rate right there. Real good. One day trip. Uh, let me go down. They go down to, let's see what's the uh, shortest run they got up there. Baldwin, New York to Masana, New York. 800 bucks. Looking like 250 miles trip. Not bad, I guess. Uh, let me see. Uh, Walking Glen, New York to East Rutherford, New Jersey. Yeah, that's a little bit. Look at the mile. Look at the weight. Forty-two thousand. Uh, Rochester to Tipton, PA, nine hundred. That's not that bad. There's not a lot of toes. Look at the weight. Twenty-one hundred pounds. So you're not wasting a lot of fuel on that trip. You know, you gotta look at that too. You gotta look at the weight and all that stuff. And you gotta look at the toes and and you gotta understand, man. When you see these lows, especially if you see a good load that pop up. You got to think quick, man, because there's a lot of truck drivers trying to get that same load. So just going to have to be quick on your game. Uh, let me see. I'm going to check a different place. Hold up. Check out Midwest. All right, Midwest is Ohio, South Dakota, North Dakota. Missouri, Minnesota, Michigan, Kansas, stuff like shit, stuff like that. So let's go uh, Midwest to the East Coast and see what, what it's looking like. And it's going to be looking good because I already know. Uh, truth. Good on numbers. Not bad, man. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. We look for a good one. Long Island, New York. Mm. That ain't bad. Long Island's not that bad, man. Let me see. Minnesota to Lancaster, PA. It's not that bad. That's actually a pretty good rate. You know, you're going to be making over two bucks a mile. But, uh, I mean, that's, you know, it all depends on what you want to do, man, where you want to go. See, I'm in Philly, so if I was in Kansas, I'd do this shit right here, which is nothing. Look at that. Whew. Can't pick up 24 hours, lightweight, and great pain. 20,000 pounds, and it's paying pretty good. It's a cereal, $558. That's all yours. Uh, That's all yours, so. Let me see. Let's go. Uh, time to look for a good one. This is a good one here.
Jazzy, good morning, afternoon, and evening. Having a wonderful day at Landstar Carlos. 3300 bucks for almost a thousand miles. So you, it's a service that's zero dollars, so they're gonna have to give you a couple hundred hours in fuel. Cause uh, you know they're gonna have to. Uh, but uh, not that bad. I mean, you go to New York and see what's coming out of there. Uh, and they got shit coming out everywhere, man. Not a bad day. Usually Fridays, uh, Fridays low board be kind of low, but uh, that's how the low is looking like, man. I always like to do this for you guys can see how crazy these boards are. So I'm gonna clear everything out. I'm gonna clear that out too. And uh, I like to just search for all loads, like for like the highest lows on a low board, just to see what's you know shit looking like, you know. So I'm just gonna search for lows and these are the highest lows on the low board right here. Which is kinda crazy. Look at the miles though, holy shit. Six thousand miles? That's fucking crazy, yo. Fuck that. Look at that one right here. Ohio to Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock. Thirteen stops, eleven thousand pounds. Yeah, we gotta look for something better than that. This is not a bad one. Washington to uh, uh, Kansas, Arkansas. Uh, oof, not a bad rate. It's gonna go even higher once you get it's a surreal. They're gonna have to give you freaking man at least like a thousand dollars for few or a little bit more than that. Way more than that. Holy shit. I haven't did no big trick like that. I try to do trips like 500, 600 miles. I mean, I did a trip for a thousand miles. Haven't done it for like 1,500 because you don't really got to go 1,500 miles to make money. Especially, you know, where I'm at. I ain't got to really worry about that. I guess if you're down south like in Florida, you do. But not up here. But let me see. Let me see something that got low miles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure, zero miles. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Well, that's what, that's what the low boy looking like today on a Friday. So, uh, not that bad. So, uh, I don't know, any questions, let me know, man. I try to help you out as best as I can. Uh, I know it sucks going to, uh, you know, buying your own truck and, and, and trying to figure out if you can make money somewhere else. And it's a little bit nervous. I mean, I took the plunge and I was scared, but right now I'm doing good, real good. And I'm just happy. So uh, I try to help people out, man, because I know some people doing like, you know, LTL companies where, working for like Conway or like FedEx and UPS. And those places don't give a shit about you, especially if you get hurt or some shit. They fucking treat you like a dog. So, I know a lot of them guys trying to get out of there and do their own thing. So, I mean, I was doing that for like 10 years. So, I don't mind helping people out to, you know, start their own career and, and as an owner operator and, uh, you know, make some money, man. You know, because over here, what you make in a day, you know, you make over there in the whole week, you know. I know you got to pay for medical and all that shit, but you still make more money than doing that LTL shit, that local stuff with these local companies. So I try to do the best I can to help people out. But uh, you guys have a good weekend, and I'm out of here.